A new analytics lab in Singapore may just help drug and medical firms in the Asia-Pacific come up with new discoveries more quickly. A LabCorp's latest expansion could save a few months on crucial testing of samples and help strengthen the country's position as a regional biomedical hub. Heidi Young with more. More lab machines in a bigger facility that comes with data analytics capabilities. LabCorp says these will help pharmaceutical firms in Asia-Pacific speed up their search for the world's next medical breakthrough. It includes cell and gene therapy, as well as new drugs like Merck's Monupiravir for COVID-19 treatment that was trialled here. The central laboratory, which does testing for patients in the clinical trials, and that's the liver function and kidney function type testing. Combining that with the bioanalytical testing has a big advantage to us because we can share space, we can share scientific talent, we can share logistics in terms of getting those samples into this laboratory, and it becomes very efficient for us. Biosamples from patients in at least 13 countries such as Australia and Korea can now be tested here instead of the US. This will save time and money, especially when Singapore's regulations also make it easier to import samples. When bringing a new drug to market, lots of testing is done. What this machine does is that it determines the concentration of a drug in the patient's body over time. Now based on these results, it will determine the dosage and frequency for these patients. Speaking at the launch, Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong says the biomedical sector will continue to be a key growth driver for the economy. With these capabilities, companies in Singapore will be able to tap on LabCorp's services to speed up the design, development and commercialization of healthcare technologies. They will also make us an even more compelling regional biomedical hub, help us attract more leading-edge investments in the sector. Right now, LabCorp has about 350 staff. It will add 90 research and engineering jobs over the next few years.